Well, my friends, it is officially official. And that is the fact that Destiny 2, the final shape has now been delayed. We heard recently that there was talk, uh, insider talk, that this was gonna, gonna get delayed. Uh, and it has now actually been announced by Bungie themselves. This is happening. We're going to go over the notes in just a second. The little uh, blog post that they posted. Not too, too long. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. And also, if you enjoy the content, not necessarily the news, because the news is not great. But if you do enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. It really helps out the channel. And uh, let's go ahead and jump straight in, into this. Uh, first things first, if you didn't know, uh, just really quick, and I, I weirdly didn't know. I, I feel like they didn't really talk about this unless I missed it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the new season for Destiny 2, starts tomorrow they tweeted this out about an hour ago at the time of recording this around 11 p.m uh or sorry 11 a.m eastern time uh it's currently the 27th of november uh and they said the season of the wish begins tomorrow i i didn't even realize maybe i was just sleeping under a rock there's been a lot of games coming out lately you know i've been distracted maybe that's it but but i feel like they haven't really talked about this new season um and you know why why i guess you, with maybe somewhat good reason because there was a lot of focus on the fact that they laid off a bunch of people i mean they laid off i don't even know how many people anymore ended up getting laid off but it was a lot of people that they let go which is crazy because again when you think about it i mean they need more resources uh not less and and now they're delaying the final shape which uh, it just doesn't make sense to me i can't i can't make it make sense if you guys can somehow make it make sense please do let me know in the comments okay so season of the wish begins tomorrow but what about the final shape um and let's take a look at this right here. This is what they uh, posted about an hour ago. And it's just called the Destiny 2 dev team, by the way. It's like no one's actually posting these anymore. Why? Well, someone's posting them. I don't know who. There's no name tied to it because they let go of all their community people. Uh, so that's uh, crazy. But anyways, so this is what they said. The final shape is the culmination of the first 10 years of Destiny's storytelling and for Guardians everywhere, countless hours spent together. We want to honor that journey, so we're taking the time we need to deliver an even bigger and bolder vision, one that we hope uh, will be remembered and treasured for years to come. I just, I, I, I just don't know, man. Like, why? They, 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 they laid off so many people. Um, that's what it kind of feels like why it's getting delayed. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand something. Again, please make it make sense. Carry carrying on, they go on to say, naturally this change brings up questions about our um, <clears throat> excuse me, upcoming release calendar. Season of the Wish begins tomorrow and will extend until the launch of the final shape in June. Wow, that is a long season. We're going to count the months in just a second here. Uh, while the majority of content and narrative for Season of the Wish will run from late November to February as originally planned, the team is adding new content available for all players to jump into until the launch of the final shape. Wait, what are, wait hold on. We're November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. That's seven months. That's over half a year on one season. That's wild. In February, this will include new weekly progression based quests called Wishes and the launch of Moments of Triumph with unique rewards. Next, we're moving Guardian Games up to March with a refreshed focus on class versus class competition. Then beginning in April, we're delivering, delivering a two month content update available to everyone called Destiny 2 into the light which will prepare players for their guardians journey into the traveler all of this is in addition to the ongoing efforts from our pvp strike team including three new pvp maps dropping in may so just a month before the final shape comes out uh we know you're eager to get your hands on the final shape in that sense delays are not fun for our part, we're excited to have the extra time needed to bring our vision for the final shape to life for all of you. We're looking forward to share, sharing much more in April, including all new gameplay to showcase the significant content additions currently in development. Thanks for reading and for being on this journey with us. Signed, the Destiny 2 dev team. Um, end quote. I don't know, man. This is a little bit weird to me uh, because, again, if this if, the, if there was no layoffs, then I'd be like, OK, this is great news. They're going to take more time and make it. I mean, it's not great, great news, right? That's like, what, a six month delay, right? February, March, April, May, June. No, that's four months. February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, four or five months, roughly, right? Um, anyways, the point being is I would say, OK, sure. 
It's always good if a development team feels like they need more time on something. I've said this, you know, forever and ever and ever. Yeah, it sucks, but it's better than, you know, getting a rushed, you know, thing out there and it just eh, it falls short, right? We don't want we, we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to fall on, on its face. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the fact that they laid off so many people recently makes you think, okay, well, this is just that. It's just, they're just because they laid off so many people, now they're behind. Like, we just don't know. Would this have happened if they hadn't laid off all these all those people? Now, given some of the people that they laid off were not develop, developers, you know, per se, they were, like I said, there's a lot of community uh, people that were laid off. But again, would they have been uh, still delaying this game? I don't know. I really don't know because it's just, the timing is weird. They have all those layoffs, but a month or two later, I don't even know. My time frame is horrible. It could have been longer or shorter i don't know how long it's been maybe like a month since the layoffs maybe i don't know um and then like you know a month or two later they're like oh hey we're delaying the game uh, it's going to be out in june and but the th here's the thing the the word of the delay and and the the word the rumor was that it was going to be june june 4th i believe actually was the original rumor was tied to the layoff situation uh it's like oh destiny you know the uh, bungie is laying off all these people and they're going to delay the game, you know, naturally. But I don't know, man. It's just weird to me. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And I really don't know how they're going to, like, stretch the content. I mean, somehow they're going to figure it out. But now they're, like, saying, oh, we're going to bring you some kind of, you know, Destiny 2 into the light. That sounds intriguing. I wonder what that is. I like the title. It does sound very intriguing. Um, that's going to prepare Guardians on the journey uh, into the Traveler. I mean, that sounds really cool and interesting. But again, when you have such, like, limited resources with having laid off so many people, uh, are they going to be able to pull this off? I don't know, man. They just, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm, obviously, I'm still still uh you know i'm still hopeful for the final shape to be to be great and and i'm really kind of curious where destiny goes after this especially you know after such a huge shift within you know the internals of bungie and i just wonder what are what's their thinking behind everything because obviously they're not going to share it with the public but it's something that we, we all wonder so i don't know you guys let me know in the comments below what do you think of the final shape getting delayed um <clears throat> like i said normally i would say this is a good thing if, if devs need a little bit more time they need to push things off they need to get uh, a little bit more out of out of the, the development time um but with you know it being tied to the layoffs everything's just weird i you know it's still like with the layoffs and stuff it's like man it's a lot of people that they, they lost their jobs and, and it's just like i don't know it's such a mixed bag right it, that's that's a problem it's a mix it's a mixed bag right now but uh either way what do you hope to see from whatever this is destiny into the light what do you think it could be uh again at least we're getting new maps for pvp finally it's gonna take a while may but finally it's been like forever we only got one recently and how long i don't even know uh so hopefully they get the th their stuff together and moving forward hopefully destiny they just they just build strong and uh after the final shape you know whatever they have planned next they just kind of um you know have have something solidified that, that we can get uh really good destiny content because again i don't want to see this whole entire franchise just crumble that would be devastating and just tragic because it's a really good it's a really good universe i love the destiny universe and i want to i want to see it stick around for quite some time longer hopefully so let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoyed this one uh well not enjoyed the news but enjoyed the content again i gotta clarify leave a like subscribe for and i'll see you guys soon in another one tell them friends game on and thanks for watching hey you what are you doing join the skeleton army do it today don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come the earth is gonna fade that's inevitable the next second of your life's not even promised so you better think about where you're going and you might as well just join the skeleton army plus we do kind of like you a little bit so it'd be nice to see you around here but if you don't want to hey you're lost see you later